Nonsense Alphabets by Edward Lear Narrated by Brad Fielder A was once an apple pie Pidey, whitey, tidy, pidey, nice insidey apple pie B was once a little bear Berry, wary, hairy, berry, takey, carry, little bear. C was once a little cake. Cakey, bakey, makey, cakey, takey, cakey, little cake. D was once a little doll. Dolly, molly, polly, nolly, nursey, dolly, little doll. E was once a little eel. Eely, wheely, peely, eely, twirly, tweely, little eel. F was once a little fish. Fishy, wishy, squishy, fishy, in a dishy, little fish. G was once a little goose. Goosey, moosey, boosey, goosey, waddly, woosey, little goose. H was once a little hen. Henny, chinny, tinny, henny, eggsy, any little hen. I was once a bottle of ink. Inky, dinky, thinky, inky, blacky, minky bottle of ink. J was once a jar of jam. Jammy, mammy, clammy, jammy, sweety, swammy jar of jam. K was once a little kite. Kitey, whitey, flighty, kitey, out of sighty little kite. L was once a little lark. Larky, marky, harky, larky, in the parky little lark. M was once a little mouse. Mousy, bousy, sousy, mousy, in the housey little mouse. N was once a little needle. Needly, tweedly, threedly, needly, whiskey, weedly, little needle. O was once a little owl. Owly, prowly, howly, owly, browny, fowly, little owl. P was once a little pump. Pumpy, slumpy, flumpy, pumpy, dumpy, thumpy, little pump. Q was once a little quail. Quaily, faily, daily, quaily, stumpy, taily, little quail. R was once a little rose. Rosy, posy, nosy, rosy, blowsy, gozy, little rose. S was once a little shrimp. Shrimpy, nimpy, flimpy, shrimpy, jumpy, jimpy, little shrimp. T was once a little thrush. Thrushy, hushy, bushy, thrushy, flitty, flushy little thrush. U was once a little urn. Ernie, burny, turny, urny, bubbly, burny little urn. V was once a little vine. Viney, whiny, twiny, viney, twisty, twiny little vine. W was once a whale. Whaley, scaly, shaley, whaley, tumbly, taily, mighty whale. X was once a great Xerxes. Xerxy, Percy, Tercy, Xerxy, Linksy, Lursy, great King Xerxes. Y was once a little U. Udy, feudy, crudy, udy, grody, grudy, little U. Z was once a piece of zinc. Tinky, winky, blinky, tinky, tinkly, minkly piece of zinc. A was an ape who stole some white tape and tied up his toes in four beautiful bows. A funny old ape. B was a bat who slept all day and fluttered about when the sun went away. B, brown little bat. C was a camel you rode on his hump 
And if you fell off, you came down such a bump. C, what a high camel. D was a dove who lived in a wood with such pretty soft wings and so gentle and good. D, dear little dove. E was an eagle who sat on the rocks and looked down on the fields and the faraway flocks. E, beautiful eagle. F was a fan made of beautiful stuff, and when it was used, it went puffy puff puff. F, nice little fan. G was a gooseberry, perfectly red, to be made into jam and eaten with bread. G, gooseberry red. H was a heron who stood in a stream. The length of his neck and his legs was extreme. H, long-legged heron. I was an inkstand which stood on a table. What a nice pen to write with when we are able. I, neat little inkstand. J was a jug so pretty and white, with fresh water in it at morning and night. J, nice little jug. K was a kingfisher, quickly he flew, so bright and so pretty, green, purple, and blue. K, kingfisher blue. L was a lily, so white and so sweet, to see it and smell it was quite a nice treat. L, beautiful lily. M was a man who walked round and round, and he wore a long coat that came down to the ground. M, funny old man. N was a nut so smooth and so brown, and when it was ripe it fell tumble-dum down. N, nice little nut. O was an oyster who lived in his shell. If you let him alone, he felt perfectly well. O, open mouth oyster. P was a poly, all red, blue, and green. The most beautiful poly that ever was seen. P, poor little poly. Q was a quill made into a pen. But I do not know where and I cannot say when. Q, nice little quill. R was a rattlesnake rolled up so tight. Those who saw him ran quickly for fear he should bite. R, rattlesnake bite. S was a screw to screw down a box, and then it was fastened without any locks. S, valuable screw. T was a thimble of silver so bright, when placed on the finger it fitted so tight. T, nice little thimble. U was an upper coat, woolly and warm, to wear over all in the snow or the storm. U, what a nice upper coat. V was a veil with a border upon it, and a ribband to tie it all round a pink bonnet. V, pretty green veil. W was a watch, where in letters of gold, the hour of the day you might always behold. W, beautiful watch. X was King Xerxes, who wore on his head a mighty large turban, green, yellow, and red. X, look at King Xerxes. Y was a yak from the land of Tibet. Except his white tail, he was all black as a jet. Y, look at that yak. Z was a zebra, all striped white and black. And if he were tame, you might ride on his back. Z, pretty striped zebra. There was a young person in green who seldom was fit to be seen. She wore a long shawl over bonnet and all, which enveloped that person in green. There was an old man of black heath, whose head was adorned with a wreath of lobsters and spice, pickled onions and mice, that uncommon old man of black heath. There was an old lady of France, who taught little ducklings to dance. When she said tick attack, they only said quack, which grieved that old lady of France. There was an old person of Dutton, whose head was so small as a button. So to make it look big, he purchased a wig and rapidly rushed about Dutton. There was an old man who said, hush, I perceive a young bird in the bush. When they said, is it small? He replied, not at all. It is four times as big as the bush. There was an old man of the coast, who placidly sat on a post. 
But when it was cold, he relinquished his hold and called for some hot buttered toast. There was an old man on whose nose most birds of the air could repose, but they all flew away at the closing of day, which relieved that old man and his nose. There was an old man of Peru who watched his wife making a stew, but once by mistake in a stove she did bake that unfortunate man of Peru. There was an old man of the north who fell into a basin of broth, but a laudable cook fished him out with a hook which saved that old man of the north. <laughs>